Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we'll move ahead with the tutorial. So this was the folder uh, structure we saw in our previous videos. And now let's see how it looks on the web browser. So first of all, I will require to start my XAMPP. I have not yet started, so it would give me a error this site can't be reached so let me open my XAMPP start my XAMPP server and if I re reload it you can see that this is the view of CodeIgniter uh, being installed successfully so this is the default page of CodeIgniter you can see that the page you are looking is being generated dynamically by CodeIgniter. It would be like to edit, if you like to edit this page, you would, you will find it located at Applications, View and this. And this is the controller of it. So in the previous lesson, we have seen, we have, we have saw the flow of CodeIgniter. So the basic flow of CodeIgniter goes from index.php and the controller and from controller it loads data from model and renders a view. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see how it's working. So the first thing what is loaded is the controller from controller we can manipulate uh, we can uh, load the view we can load models use the functions written inside the models and we can do whatever we want from controllers so this is the controller which is the default controller set by the CodeIgniter so here if yeah, uh, this line of code this is this will re restrict the user to directly access this file from the URLs so this is just a security check it's better if you keep this line as it is or you can remove it but it's good to have a security check on this website now the main thing to be noted is we have written the class name welcome with WS caps which extends CI underscore controller so this is the parent controller and this extends CI underscore controller so this is a basic inheritance and a welcome controller has all the functionalities written in CI controller and this is the default function index whenever this controller would be called an index function would be loaded by default if you don't understand it if I change the name to index 1 you would see that it would give me some error like 404 page not found because it's looking for index.php uh, the default method if again I keep it as index.php you can see that everything is working fine now suppose I write another function and name it as my index okay so if I want to access my index and I'll do one thing I'll echo here my index okay so as we discussed in the previous sessions the default flow of CodeIgniter goes like the first thing which is called is the index.php then the controller name welcome and if I enter this so by default index was called now 
this is the index function which is called by default when this controller is called I want to access this method so I'll just copy the name of that method and place it in uh, in place of index and this is my custom method this is my index so this is the way uh, the website flows the first thing is the index.php welcome controller and the methods inside it now what is this load view and view name so this load view uh, resembles that something named welcome underscore message is written inside the views folder which is the view of view of welcome index function so if I just delete it the default function would be the index function and this is the view what we see here so in this view if I want to edit something like this the page you are looking at is being generated dynamically by solution cone now this message would be changed so this is the way you edit the front view of your website so basically if uh, again let me recap it the flow of the code igniter is like firstly the controller is called and inside the controller we have several functions and we can call it by default index function is being called if if suppose I have not written an index function and now see index.php slash welcome slash nothing that means it would it would be looking for the index function but we have commented our index function so no such index function is present so it would give me a 404 error if I uncomment it again it will be start working fine for us similarly if I write my index which is a custom made method here we can do that now suppose in this my index I want to load some another view so this load view and the view name would be my index view so for that I would be creating my index view dot php in my views folder and save this as my index view dot php and here I would be having a div in which I'm going to place my h2 hello every one this is my first custom view okay so if I would go to welcome controllers my index function this view would be loaded so let me check this so currently it was my index now you can see that every hello everyone this is my first custom view so this is a spelling mistake but no wonders okay so this is the way to create your custom view and a custom method inside the controller similarly if you want to create your custom controller you can go to the controllers create a new controller name my controller dot php you just have to remember that the first letter should be caps 
just save it with the .php extension you can just go to class my this extends ci underscore controller which is a parent controller and inside that you specify a method or a function named index which would be called by default if we call this my controller let's echo something like this is my controller also we have a security check here so let's copy this and just paste it here so that no direct access is allowed to our website now if I want to use this my controller how am I going to use it so the flow is the same this is the base URL of our website so I have not yet come to the base URL this is the base URL and this would be your website name for example www.solutioncone.com slash my index.php which is the first controller or the front controller and then the then our application controller which is my underscore controller my underscore controller so if I loaded it this is my controller and this is nothing but the index method inside this my controller class and this is the flow index.php my controller and index in the next video we'll see how to remove this index.php now if you are wondering now for example if I remove everything and I just go to my root folder which is c underscore dot and I just click enter the front URL of the default controller which load is a welcome controller which is defaulted by uh, which is defined by the code igniter now if I want to change this I just need to go to my config folder which we discussed in our first video first or second video here you can see that config.php file in that this is the base URL we have not yet specified the base URL of it so let's go there and specify the base URL of our website if you are uploading this stuff to your website then the base URL would be your website name.com or dot in or whatever and let me come down yes that's it so here we specify the base URL and now let's go to routes.php here routes.php here we have a default controller which is a welcome controller so whenever anyone goes to the base URL which is this the first controller which is going to be loaded is a welcome controller so if I wanna change this I can do that uh, with my new controller which we created just now is my underscore controller my controller and now let's try to reload the page so you can see that we have changed the default controller to my controller so whenever the URL this URL is going to be hit 
the first thing what we see on our screen would be the default uh, which uh, would be a my controllers view so if you want to separate the view just I'll go to my controller here we have just echoed something and uh, let's do one thing let's make a view of it this load view and give it some name my or uh, let me see my index view suppose I want to load my index view so hello everyone this is my first custom view now let me make another function named a test function and in this I want to load in this I want to just echo with h1 tags this is the test function from my controller and I want to access this function so my flow would be like index.php slash my controller this is the controllers name slash the function name which we want to call so this is the test function from my controller I hope this flow or the working of code igniter is clear if it's not clear this would be clear when we start with, with uh, move further on this video series so if you have any doubts please feel free to comment below I would give you If you have any questions or doubts please feel free to comment below I will respond to your comments as soon as I can and if you liked it please like and share it many more videos to come so see you in the next video thank you